high times and she's smoking it up. <laughs> you get it? Ooh, definitely not a popular mechanics interview. Would you be you smoking a crescent wrench if it was? I might be using uh, it for something. this door so that we don't have any. Dope, dope it up, man. I may get pepperoni all on that. Can you smoke it after I could put flesh on it? Do we have vegans in the band? I'm a vegan. You're a vegan? Mm -hmm. So am I. Okay. I eat vegetarians. Once in a while, I'll have a little salami. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> I like salami, but that's the only meat I eat. <laughs> vegetarians are sneaky and bacon. Yeah, actually, I'll eat pork. Yeah. Do you think when you finally came to Electric Apricot that you found a deeper understanding amongst the band members? I know that you work towards enlightenment. Well, aren't we all working Through towards music? enlightenment? You know what I mean? Yeah. I think you work towards enlightenment until you're you're in the dirt, right? Theoretically. Theoretically, yes. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a meaningful musical venture. I think we've we've uh, I think certainly my God is we've all grown as people and as musicians. So I think yeah, I mean the band is. I've always maintained that the band is is a, is a ritual. No, I need to, I need that. I need to cool. I'm, I'm right where I need to be. You know. We don't want to. Have you found psychedelics or marijuana have helped you in that journey? Are you kidding me? Well, it's like, I always, you know, LSD is, is, is the boat that gets you across the river. But then what happens is if you get across the river and you see a mountain, you're going to need something else to get you across the mountain. And you don't know, uh, over on the other side of the mountain there might be an ocean. So to give up drugs after you cross the river is, is, is in my perspective, a premature premature strategy and so that's what this band kind of is is, is we're the uh, we're the ocean <laughs> but the thing is too you know for the kids for the kids out there because we are responsible adults is you know you don't want to rely entirely on drugs I mean you can get across the river but uh, by other means you can get <laughs> up a mountain with a rope and a carabiner you know what I mean and well, the not ocean. really. It depends what the mountains like. The ocean. Though. You get a good, like, you get a good, you get a good a ocean way. kayak. Well, I'm just saying. But you're not really getting the metaphor, though. I mean, the mountain. The mountain I get the metaphor. I, I'm trying tingling. to protect the kids. You know, we yeah, don't want kids can't even climb mountains. I mean, what we parents gonna let their kids climb a mountain? All around my head. Totally missing what I was saying. That's all I'm saying. I mean, you're totally. Have you ever heard of a metaphor? Have you ever? I mean, I mean, I mean, you know what I'm saying, right? Because I mean, it's like if you. No, I understand what you're saying, I was. But yeah, fingertips get you know, all tingly. I think what Rap Dog's saying, you have to point. protect the children from the drug angle. It's not all about no, the drugs. No, but children aren't doing, they're not it's doing not drugs. All about they're the not dr climbing hey, the mountain. It's not all about the drugs, is what I'm saying, right? Right. Do you do you think it's all about the drugs? That's what you're saying. That's how that came across. You know, you were doing an interview here, and you got to be careful what you say. Yeah, dude. To high a, time. You gotta Hello. Be, you got to be mean, careful dude, what you say you in know, the interview because it could be interpreted differently. You know. You know what I mean? Yeah. So be very careful, is what I'm saying. You know, you're not as experienced at interviews. But what if I feel that me, it, it actually it is all about the drugs? That's my feeling. Well, I'm saying, as you know, the anchor into reality here, that sure, it's always good. Moderation is the key to it all. You know, I read a lot of popular mechanics. You know, I know how things work. Yeah, but and, you know, physics and whatnot, and you know, moderation is the key. But if Bush, you, and like you go to want too far, too far off to one side, and you tip the scale, and 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 who wants a tipped scale? You can't get anything done with a lopsided scale. Holy cow! I mean, if Bush, if Bush, and like if Bush and like in Bush and Quail, or Bush and like uh, Bush and Quail and Quail like Potatoes. smoked some fucking weed or took DMT, you know? Cheney, Bush and Cheney, Potatoes. No, I mean, you know, if Bush and Quail like smoked. Weed, I think we'd be in Potatoes. a better place right now. I mean, did you have that in mind when you wrote back roads of my mind? I did. I have to, to be completely honest, that was um, written at a time when I was doing um, some psychedelic exploring of my own oh, into such my as? Um, well journeys with peyote. I was um, uh, meeting with um, a Native American uh, medicine man in Taos, New Mexico, and uh, I had some experiences that. Um, Help me learn about myself, and that's what that song is about. It's about introspection and about learning about oneself. Uh, but I do agree. With I ate some peyote one know. time in Berkeley, and I walked home back home to my mom's house with my eyes closed all the way home. <laughs> you were all you were watching with your third eye. I don't know, but I got home and I slept on the porch. <laughs> I you blinked. Yeah. 
Lap Dog, were you um, kind of drawing off that same sort of inspiration when you wrote, Are You Going to Burning Man? Uh, uh, the inspiration, or the hallucinogenic inspiration, you mm -hmm. mean? Uh, no, I mean, you know, for me, Burning Man, I look at Burning Man as this, as this incredible, wondrous thing in this, in this time of, of chaos and extreme conservatism, you know, there's, there's still a place where like-minded individuals can come together and share ideals and express themselves and, 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 you know, build things and, and drive crazy vehicles and, and, you know, Burning Man just seems like this wonderful thing and, you know, I've heard a lot of things about, about Burning Man from friends that have gone, I actually, myself, I personally haven't gone, but I, I really want to go someday, but, you know, I was really compelled because it's such an important thing to me to write that song um, that, um, you know, I'm saying, hey, are you going to Burning Man? Like, hey, you know, maybe you would like to bring me along with you, you know, on your journey, you know, hey, I'm, I'm offering my services as a guy who, you know, knows, he reads Popular Mechanics, knows a little bit about the way things work, you know, I could build a, a golf cart with a big flashing neon brain on the top. Hot sure. rod golf cart. I, you know, yeah. so, you know, someday That's you heavy. will. That's How's this you're looking for it. you? <laughs> Excuse me? How's this you're looking for you? Might be on tour. I don't think I'm gonna make it. When is it? Maybe next week. This weekend. Maybe. But I was. I really would like to get out there. I mean, it just. It's such. It just. It's such. It's such an incredible thing. Well, that's what I'm told. I'd like to try some cosmic flan. <laughs> <laughs> was that your idea? Hold on, dude. You know, it's a metaphor. Cosmic flan. It's a metaphor for like, you know, a, a way to feed your mind. You know. Ah, oh, delicious. Well, let's talk about your new album. We're making yeah. a record. You know, it's our first record. You know what? Yeah. You only make your first record once. That's right. So we're really putting all our marbles into this basket. You know. Amen. Amen. Um, and um, we're working. We're working. Uh, we we haven't got a title yet, but you know, we've we've recorded some of the songs, and um, uh, uh, it's sounding good. You know, we got Oz Oswald George is 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 been engineering it. And he's mixing it while we're out here. Uh, 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 you know. Uh, he's, yeah, he's the man. He's the, he's the man. Do you think of yourself as the idea man behind it? Perhaps Me? Not? No. Uh, no. Uh, you know, I sort of, you know, I, we're all, we're all sort of equal, equal cogs on the, on the wheel of, 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 you know, of the sewing machine or whatever, however you want to look at it. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, you know, I have, I have my, my things, you know, I mean, I express myself the, the thing about me that's, that's, that's incredibly unique and, and, um, is, you know, not only do I, I, I play my, my instrument, the drums, you know, it, I mean, there's a lot of times you see these melodic instruments uh, writing lyrics and whatnot, or even, you know, a bass can be a little more, but the drums are very rhythmical. You know, you don't see too many drummers that are writing lyrics. You know, Neil Peart, you know, from Rush back in the day, he wrote some amazing stuff about, you know, the snow dogs and the, and the fighting the evil Amen. ones and whatnot, and Xanadu. But, you know, I saw, I bring in my stuff and, and, and I opt to, I, I, you know, we don't have a Getty Lee in the band to sing my lyrics, you know. These guys are all great, but, you know, I have a, I, I have a way that I like to sing. So, so, you know, I sing my own lyrics and, and I play my, my drums and, and you know, I, I, it, it brings a little unique uh, element to, to the band, I think. So you know, not since, like, yeah. Phil Collins has I mean, somebody really done that. We're you know? one organism that works together, but we have four different voices that all kind of come I mean, the together. album's going really good. It's, I mean, so far, I'm convinced that we've created something that's, you know, I mean, I'm convinced I'm getting phone calls. We put this thing out. And it's, I'm getting, like, Trey, he's calling me up and saying, dude, how'd you do it? <laughs> it's one of those types of records. And, you know, it might sound a little inflated to me to say that, but, um, you know, I know this is, is, is you know, it's, it's exactly how Led Zeppelin felt, you know, when they did White Album, all that, those different albums they made, you know, like they just said, we fucking got it. And that's what we're, that's what we're doing. It's like, I really feel like with this new CD, um, we are a family, parents in a way, and we are really about to give birth to a baby. And this CD is going to be a beautiful child. It's beautiful. And, and I look at Festeru, if you will, as our child's baptism. That's really sweet. Oh, that's pretty that, good. That is beautiful. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I bet that makes picking names all the more fun. The album. 